top 12 facts about space that will rock your world. When you look up at the stars, what do you think about it? That we may not be alone, the vastness of it all? There's a lot to wonder about space. The fact is we don't know all the answers about it. We know it's vast and beautiful, but we're not sure how vast or beautiful for that matter. Some of the things we do know, however, are downright mind-boggling. Below, we've collected some of the most amazing facts about space. So when you look up at the stars, you can be even more wowed by what you're looking at. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, like the video and hit bell icon as well for timely updates and instant video notifications. Without further delay, let's jump into the video. Number 1. Neutron stars can spin at a rate of 600 rotations per second. Neutron stars are one of the possible evolutionary endpoints of high-mass stars. They're born in a core-collapse supernova star explosion and rotate rapidly due to their physics. Neutron stars can turn up to 60 times per second after being born. Under exceptional circumstances, this rate can increase to more than 600 times per second. Number 2. Space is completely silent. Sound waves need a medium to travel through. Since there is no atmosphere in the vacuum of space, the realm between stars will always be eerily silent. That said, worlds with atmospheres and air pressure allow sound to travel. Hence why there's plenty of noise on Earth and likely other planets. Number 3. There is an uncountable number of stars in the known universe. We have no idea how many stars there are in the universe. Right now, we use our estimate of how many stars there are in our galaxy, the Milky Way. We then multiply that number by the best guesstimate of the number of galaxies in the universe. After all that math, NASA can only confidently say there are countless uncountable stars. A zillion is an uncountable amount. An Australian National University study put their estimate at 70 sextillions. Put another way, that's 70,000 million million million. Number 4. The Apollo astronauts' footprints on the moon will probably stay there for at least 100 million years. Since the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, there's no wind or water to erode or wash away the Apollo astronauts' mark on the moon. That means their footprints, overprints, spaceship prints, and discarded materials will stay on the moon for a long time. They won't stay on there forever though. The moon is still a dynamic environment. It's constantly bombarded with micrometeorites, which means that erosion is still happening on the moon very slowly. Number 5. 99% of our solar system's mass is the sun. Our star, the Sun, is so dense that it accounts for 99% of the mass of our entire solar system. That's what allows it to dominate all of the planets gravitationally. Technically, our Sun is a G-type main-sequence star, which means that every second, it fuses approximately 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium. In addition, it converts about 4 million tons of matter to energy as a byproduct. When the sun dies, it will become a red giant and envelop the Earth and everything on it. But don't worry, that won't happen for another 5 billion years. Number 6. More energy from the sun hits Earth every hour than the planet uses in a year. The use of solar energy has increased at a rate of 20% each year for the past 15 years. According to Yale Environment 360, the world added 30% more solar energy capacity in 2017. 
meaning 98.9 gigawatts of solar energy were produced that year. Despite the seemingly large number, this amount of energy only accounts for 0.7% of the world's annual electricity usage. Number 7. If two pieces of the same type of metal touch in space, they will bond and be permanently stuck together. This fantastic effect is called cold welding. It happens because the atoms of the individual pieces of metal have no way of knowing that they are different pieces of metal, so the lumps join together. This bonding wouldn't happen on Earth because air and water separate the pieces. However, the effect has a lot of implications for spacecraft construction and the future of metal-based buildings in vacuums. Number 8. The giant asteroid in our solar system is a mammoth piece of space rock named Ceres. The asteroid, sometimes known as a dwarf planet, is almost 600 miles in diameter. It's the largest in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and accounts for a third of the belt's mass. Ceres' surface area is approximately equal to the land area of India or Argentina. The uncrewed spacecraft Dawn just finished its mission orbiting Ceres and helping us transform our understanding of the world. Number 9. One day on Venus is longer than one year on Earth. Venus has a prolonged axis rotation that takes about 243 Earth days to complete one entire cycle. Funny enough, it takes Venus even less time in Earth days to complete one revolution around the Sun, 226. Furthermore, the Sun rises every 117 Earth days, which means that the sun will rise only two times during each year, which is also technically on the same day. Since Venus also rotates clockwise, the sun will rise in the west and set in the east. Number 10. Jupiter's red spot is shrinking. Jupiter's famous red spot has been shrinking over the past few decades. This spot on the planet is a giant spinning storm that used to be able to fit about three Earths. Now, according to only one Earth can fit inside the spot. Interestingly enough, as the storm is shrinking in width, it's growing taller in length. In 2022, scientists are still stumped as to why this phenomenon is occurring in the first place. But some theorize that it may have to do with jet streams on Jupiter that have changed direction or location. Number 11. One of Saturn's moons has a distinct two-tone coloration. Ipetus, one of Saturn's 62 moons, is a unique celestial object. This moon has a distinctive two-tone coloration, with one side being much darker than the other. As of 2018, this strange occurrence isn't present on any other moons in the solar system. Instead, Iapetus' color has to do with its position with the rest of Saturn's moons. It turns out that Iapetus is way outside Saturn's rings, and because of this, it gets hit with a lot of space debris from objects that might be passing through its orbit, explaining the dark areas, according to Forbes. Furthermore, another completely dark moon Phoebe and farther out than Iapetus revolves clockwise around Saturn and emits a steady stream of particles. Iapetus spins counterclockwise, meaning that only one side of the Iapetus gets hit with the particles coming off of Phoebe when they revolve past each other. This explains why Iapetus isn't entirely dark, but only partially. Number 12. The position of the North Star will change over time. Navigation will be weird when Polaris stops being the North Star in about 13,000 years. In case you didn't know, 
Earth's axis goes through a motion called precession, which means that the planet's axis will change and trace out the shape of a cone, even if it's slightly. The axis takes around 26,000 years to trace out a complete cone shape. Additionally, Polaris, the Earth's current North Star, will eventually begin to shift positions as the Earth undergoes precession. In 3000 BC, it's believed that the North Star was the star Thuban, otherwise known as Alpha Draconis. In about 13,000 years, the star Vega will be the new North Star, but in 26,000 years, Polaris will return to its original position as the Earth continues to precession. So, which one was the most surprising to you? Let us know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.